I got involved in technology and then eventually project management because original Star Trek and I was a big admirer of Scotty. I wanted to build things. I wanted to be an engineer. But as I get older, I start to realize I would not want to have Montgomery Scott on my project team because he always had a certain way to make sure that it always appeared that he was a miracle worker. Yeah, well, I told the captain I'd have this analysis done in an hour. How long would it really take? An hour? Oh, you didn't tell him how long it would really take, did you? Well, of course I did. Oh, laddie, you've got a lot to learn if you want people to think of you as a miracle worker. So by padding his estimates, he made himself look good. But as a project manager, you need to realize that's something you should never do and you should never be having or allowing those people that are providing estimates to you to do. Now certainly we're going to build in reserves, we're going to build in contingencies into our project, but we're going to do that in a methodical way and we'll estimate some of the risk involved in our estimates. There's different ways we can do that, but we do not want to have people padding things. I mean think about it if you uh, think about a project and if everybody was to pad things by three to five times the amount of time and money it would take, you would put an enormous amount of resources toward that project and then you'd find out you really didn't need them all and there are other projects you didn't get done because of that. Okay, so no Scotty factors. So it pains me to say it, but if Montgomery Scott came to work on my project, I'd probably have to send him away. <laughs> <laughs>